morning. It's a beautiful day to save lives. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Vivian. I make videos here on YouTube about my life as a medical doctor and also about a bunch of health topics. I recently filmed the video um, of a day in my life as a radiologist and I thought that'd be quite nice to share on here. So I hope you enjoy. My morning commute is about an hour each way on the train. I'm not a morning person at all and I leave it to the last minute to leave the house, which means I have to complete my makeup on the train. I always tell myself I'm improving my hand-eye coordination, but somehow my work colleagues don't seem to agree. Work is only a few stops on the underground from the main train station, but if the train is on time, I'll take a walk from the main train station to the next underground station. I'll often listen to a podcast, practice my languages, or sometimes just clear my head and enjoy the scenery. My walking route is quite pretty. I walk past Buckingham Palace, say hello to the Queen, and also through a very lovely park. It's actually really nice to see these trees change with each season. In the spring, this area is very leafy and very shaded, and sometimes there's even a waterfall on the side. After a brief ride on the underground, I get to work. On this day, I actually saw some colleagues as I was getting in and I'm sure they were wondering what I was doing. I'll have to explain to them later, maybe when they see this video. Morning guys, today I'm just going to be showing you around the ultrasound rooms and taking you with me on a day of ultrasound. So this morning I've got two ultrasounds to do in this room, which will be ultrasound of the liver. It's a special scan that we do called an elastography, where we look um, at how stiff the liver is and see if people have fibrosis. And then after that I will go next door to do my small bar ultrasound list, which I do in a separate room because we use a different machine. And I'll be taking you around with me. This is what the ultrasound machine looks like. There are many manufacturers of machines so sometimes they look quite different with different buttons. Each machine comes with several probes which have different frequencies and you choose which one you use depending on what type of scan and what part of the body is being scanned. I basically use this probe which is for doing the abdomen. You can also use that one depending on how much um, subcutaneous tissue the person has, so how fat or slim they are. And then these other probes, we use them for more superficial things, so those who do musculoskeletal radiology love them. This room is primarily used for special ultrasound and for ultrasound guided interventions. So we also have all our kits on the side. There are biopsy needles, drains, different types of needles and syringes, drapes, dressings, wound packs and things like that. Basically everything we need for drains and biopsies. And over here on the right we have gloves in several sizes including latex free ones for those with latex allergies. The sink is right next to this and this is where we wash and sterilize our hands before any procedures. This is one of our lovely radiology department assistants who works with me in this room. He usually will get the patients ready, preps our equipment, assists with any procedures and also just generally keeps me from going insane. Before scanning any patient, I'll put some gel on the probe, which acts as an interface for sound transmission and then adjust the settings based on what I'm scanning. As I scan, I'll occasionally tweak the settings as well to make sure that I'm getting the best images or sometimes I need to check the blood flow to certain things or take measurements if I need to. After scanning, the RDA will clean the equipment and bed and then go and get the next patient and in that time I will just report the scan that I've done. Today I have some spare time between my two lists so I decided to get a coffee. I'm taking the stairs as well just to get more steps in during the day. I spend quite a lot of time sitting so I like to take every opportunity to move around when I can. I get my coffee from Pretz B 
because they do a pretty sweet subscription plan where you can get up to five coffees a day for 20 pounds a month and i share that with a friend so it turns out to be pretty cheap for both of us my next session is in a different ultrasound room than before the setup is pretty similar with a computer, a storage for consumables, but the machine here is different and is one made by Hitachi. It's a much older machine, so the images are not as nice as the previous one, but we still use it because of the special probe, which we use for internal GI scans. This probe is used to assess women who have had tears and injuries during childbirth. Because it's an internal probe, we must use a probe cover, which looks suspiciously like a condom. I've asked in the past what the difference is between these and regular condoms, but I've been told that these don't come with internal lubrication. Regardless, I'm pretty surprised people don't steal these more often. It ended up being a busy list because I had two other doctors who were learning join me on the list so I was teaching as well as scanning. I didn't get a chance to really eat, um, have my coffee and my pastry so I ended up having that for lunch. After reporting the scans that I've done, I start prepping for the MDT. The MDT is a multidisciplinary team meeting where different specialties come together to discuss patients and decide on treatment plans. My role is to review all the scans for the patients being discussed so I can give my opinion on what type of cancer it is and whether or not it has spread to other organs. This helps my colleagues decide whether or not the patient is suitable for surgery, radiotherapy, chemotherapy or a combination of any of the above. That takes up my entire afternoon and brings me to the end of the day. Right guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please leave me a comment below letting me know. It makes me know that I should make more videos like this. Also, click the like button. And if you want to see similar content in the future, consider subscribing to my channel. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.